I'm down here under the Big Four Bridge, Old Jefferson Historic District. And I'm down here just checking out the sounds, the grooves of this place. And I just happened to come down here, and guess what? Old Ted the Tech, you know how crazy he is about cars. They are having a car show down here. So I'm totally digging it, even if it is Volkswagens, which, don't hate, don't hate. I just, you know, it's a Volkswagen, you know, far for Nugent, far for Nugent. Anyways, let me take you around the town, show you a little bit of Jeffersonville, and uh, so that if you come down here for one of your nursing assignments, you can definitely check out the sights and sounds in the downtown beats of downtown. Now hit my music. right here is probably what the first settlers saw, meaning the Lewis and Clark expedition back in 1785, or 1786, excuse me, um, because this is where they settled when they came to Jeffersonville. They came back here after the Louisiana Purchase and all that business, and this is where it all started. Fort Finney is right behind me. That's where it was all like a giant fort. And um, they chased all the Indians out of here, unfortunately, and took over the land. That's just what we did back in the day. And, um, you know, it's unfortunate. Uh, now all this is becoming apparent to us that, you know, maybe that wasn't the best way to handle things. But anyways, uh, Jeffersonville, behind me you'll see, right over my right shoulder, you'll see the Big Four Bridge, which is named the Big Four Bridge because that was the major railroads for Chicago, Ohio, Indiana, and Kentucky, and they all had a railroad system, a tr train railroad system that would come down here and go to Louisville, to Indiana, to Kentucky. It was just... You know, it was the way that you did, that you got things around, uh, shipments, freights, whatever. Anyways, uh, they would have seen first. Uh, imagine what they would think about it today. I mean, wow. Anyways, let's go check out some more downtown. Spring Street, excuse me, and um, this Jeffersonville basically has a population of about 40 to 44,000 people, according to the U.S. Census back in 2010. Um, the crime rate here is, they say, tremendously high compared to, um, at 89%, it's rated higher than other towns the same size or, you know, equal to it. Um, I don't understand that, you know, it's really a quiet, quaint town, I love it. It's awesome, they got food from either bars to bow tie stuff, and I mean, it's really just, it's just very, very quaint, very neat. Uh, everybody is just, just so nice here. Stuff. Hi, how you doing? And, uh, I haven't had any issues whatsoever. I mean, you know. Uh, it's unfortunate everything is going on in Louisville. So it's pretty much locked down at 8 o'clock on that side of the river. 
if you stay over here on the Jeffersonville side of the river, everything stays pretty much open till late. You know, you would never know it because there's just no advertisement and a lot of shops are closed, but there's a few that are open still. A lot of the bars and stuff like that, you do have to wear a mask and all that good stuff. But you know, other than that, it's still very, very open. So there's still a few things that you can do late at night. Anyways, let's go over to the park next. What do you think about that? Come on. All right, this right here is Big Four Station. This is the park that they have here where a lot of people tend to walk their dogs, ride the uh, electric scooters that they have here and things of that nature. Also the parlors over here and more places to dine and eat. In case you didn't understand what I meant earlier about the uh, from bars to bow ties, that basically means uh, from nice from bar joints to uh, to a really nice sit down restaurant wearing a bow tie to go you know they have buckheads here and all kinds of other high end Chris Christie's or Steve Christie's excuse me uh, Chris Christie's whatever it is I don't know what it is you correct me I mean you know tell me to take a drink next time you see me or whatever but uh, anyway um. This park is just a wonderful park, and right next to the park you have what they call Walking Bridge. And you just walk across it, it'll go right into Louisville, or Louisville, as some of you people have corrected me on multiple times. And, uh, you know, you can uh, get your exercise in, which is quite ironic considering Indiana is one of the highest states for obesity at nearly 30 to 34 percent plus body fat um, so a lot of the surgeries that I've been doing here ironically again is is not uh, bypass surgeries or or any type of uh, surgeries like that but I do operate on a little bit larger patients so maybe that's one thing that you'll take in consideration too when you come here if you're a little bit older or it may be you know if you have issues with um, larger patients you know they operate on a lot if you come in contact with at least two to six um, larger patients a caseload or a day whichever way you want to look at it you know um, not saying that everybody here is big or that every person here that you take care of is large but uh, they're a little bit larger um, I, ironically, the biggest um, people, <laughs> the most obese, shall I say, uh, is West Virginia. So, you know, if you have issues with, you know, taking care of larger patients or you want to do those kinds of cases, maybe you should look at going to West Virginia. But uh, here, we don't do much of that. There's not much for trauma. Um, it's totally elective and selective. <laughs> Anyways, um, the average income here, I believe, is anywhere from uh, thirty to thirty-four thousand dollars a year. And um, as you can see by taking a look around, that you know, that, that there's no real, you know, depiction of uh, people living in impoverished situations. But um, money is not. Is, is an important issue to a lot of your patients that you're going to be taking care of. So, you know, just be aware of that and be aware of your surroundings and things of that nature. Anyway, I have to come back and show you this bridge. It's beautiful at night. And, uh, well, let's go to our next site, downtown, the uh, council uh, building. I got that summertime, summertime sadness. I'm standing in front of City Hall. Well, at least this is what I think is City Hall, but this right here, the city, like I said, is 
so closed down now and there's some things that are open, some things that are not. So I'm guessing that this is City Hall. I mean, if it is City Hall, it's very small. And not only that, but um, it's really not well taken care of right now. And I think that's because, you know, so many things are just, you know, not natural nowadays. You know, everything is, you know, up in the air on, you know, when the economy is going to kick back in or when we'll, you know, be able to once again start having things and people go to them and stuff like that. But anyways, this right here is, it says it's the library named after the, of course, third president of the United States of America, Virginia legislator and senator and did I mention he was the third president of the United States and our founding father, Thomas Jefferson. That's right, Thomas Jefferson. And anyways, uh, this is a great depiction of him and a great monument to him i mean it's really this is a really neat monument unfortunately like i said it's not well taken care of around here because i think of everything that's going on so uh right now they dedicated this library to him and of course right next to that is a psychiatric and this is another thing you may want to know about coming down here the of course of course opioid uh, addiction and opioid you know uh, whew, uh, addiction problems that it brings and stuff of that nature is rampant down here we take care of at least one in every four to five patients that has you know an opioid addiction or something like that but you know to each its own I don't pass judgment because I'm there to do the work and that's what tech, tech does best. And like I said, most of the surgeries that we're doing are uh, elective or selective. So, you know, I'm just here having fun, doing a lot of orthopedic cases, doing a lot of general cases. Um, they don't have a whole lot of trauma at the particular hospital that I'm at. But the system that I'm with, Nord, I think it's called Northern or Nor Northern maybe. I don't know. I'll put it in my vlog. But uh, the system that I'm with is a huge, huge company. And the uh, medical companies that I'm that are in this general facility generate at least $35 billion to the um, economy here. So you can imagine there's going to be lots of work to do. There's going to be lots of work to do. So be prepared to come here and do some work because uh, you work from the time you go in to the time you leave. And if you're on call, well, you might just have to come back. But however, this is my first weekend and uh, it's been fairly quiet, knock on wood. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I'll put that in my next vlog. And hey, if you like my videos, like how I changed it up a little bit this time, you like what I'm doing, please let me know. Please let me know. Because let me tell you, I had to go back and look at some of the videos that I was putting out there. And I really wasn't too happy with the uh, content of the material that I was putting out there. I really wasn't telling you much about the city or, you know, what to expect once you get out there. But uh, I think I'm getting a little bit better. And if I'm not, like I said, hit that like button or hit that dislike button. Leave a comment. Please leave a comment. That's the only way I'm going to be able to make these better or do my job, okay? This is the only job that I have is to report back to you and tell you, hey, this is what's going on in this city. Anyways, this is Ted the Tech, and uh, you know what? I'm going to go get some food and uh, meet my wife. She's coming down. So anyways, uh, or shall I say up, she's coming up because that would be down. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. You guys have a good day and a good weekend, and I hope that your dreams and everything come true. Now, you know what to do. Kick that music, homeboy. Huh,